So another update in the HTube development and I will start with the biggest headache today and that's this machine. It's the oxygen plant. Uh, it's the system that will deliver the oxygen for our torches when we seal the large tube and so far it was really a pain. So let's have a look at the problems. So first why we are building it. So these are the two oxygen concentrators that we use. They are able to deliver up to 5 liters of oxygen per minute. But at 5 liters the concentration of the oxygen is quite low. So let's come with something like 4 liters. This is the burner that we will use for sealing the large tube. I removed the two uh, heads that we had on the sides and kept just the two. I think two will be enough. And just these two jets will consume around 8 liters per minute. So let's, let's have a look at it. So this is a simple system I made yesterday for regulating the gas and the oxygen flow to the, to the jets. And uh, as you can see, they are both closed now. And uh, I have a small pilot flame here. Uh, this is this bypass line uh, that goes through a needle valve. So this is set separately and this is for the pilot flame. And uh, these other two needle valves are for setting the flow for the regular use. So uh, I will first open the gas. And now I will open the, the oxygen. I need some tuning. So this is how it should work. I should be able to turn it on and off during the work as I need and I should be able to also regulate uh, the, the flow of the, of the gas to deliver more or less of the heat. I don't know why the flames have these patterns. They should be completely blue but they have these orange cones inside so probably the concentration of the oxygen is not high enough but I will look at this later. So let's have a look at how much oxygen it consumes now. So we have two oxygen concentrators and they are both at 3 liters of oxygen per minute. So this means that we are now using 6 liters per minute. It's possible that we will need to add two torches again, so we would be at roughly 12 liters per minute. And still this is maybe not enough of heat, we will need to use a hand torch, which is another 10 liters, so we can get close to 30 liters per minute. Uh, so the new machine that I'm designing is made of six oxygen concentrators and these should be able to deliver between 24 to 30 liters per minute of oxygen of the correct concentration. Another option that we have is to use another bottle like this. This is a nitrogen bottle, 50 liters of, of volume and we could use the same bottle for oxygen. So we would have something like 10,000 liters of oxygen in this bottle. And if we really need to use 30 liters per minute that would be like five hours of, of work. So after five hours of work, we would need to uh, get another bottle. So we would need to get uh, replacements of the bottle quite frequently. And it's not really convenient because it's really heavy. And when I'm not here, uh, it would be on the ladies to, to replace it. So this unit, this machine will replace six of these. So quite significant save on, on the space. Let's test how much oxygen at what concentration this unit is able to deliver. So I will turn it off. And this is our test unit, so let's first calibrate it to air. So there should be 21 percent. I set the flow to 1 liter per minute, uh, which is the lowest flow and the highest concentration. Once I start increasing the flow, uh, the concentration will drop. So at 1 liter per minute, it would go to something like 83, maybe 80, 84%. So let's go higher to 
5 liters and the concentration will drop so this will be the minimum concent concentration we can get there is still oxygen in the oxygen reservoir inside so 87 percent not bad at all 88 this is the concept this is the oxygen that was created at the low flow still so 90 percent interesting 92 and now it goes down it run out of the of the higher concentration oxygen that was made at one liter per minute you can see that when one cylinder is activated it tends to go up a little bit and when the other one is activated it goes down faster so this means that one of the uh, cylinders with the molecular seat is uh, better than the other one and now it goes up and now it goes fast down Okay, so we are somewhere over 70% at 5 liters per minute and at 1 liter per minute we were at 90%. Right? At the bottom we have 6 compressors. Uh, the compressor is down here in the machine. So the 6 compressors, uh, right now we will be using just one because like one compressor to one pair of the, of the sieves. So, uh, the air from the compressor goes here and through these holes to a chiller this is our cooler this is a cooler from car uh, i was using a different one i wanted to use a passive one so i made a cooler just from aluminum tubes but this was surprisingly not enough even it was still bigger than the small cooler uh, which is in the original unit the cooler is very important because if you don't have a cooler in the system the hot air from the compressor goes inside into the cool parts and then uh, it makes the water condense and then the water uh, can enter the sieves and this is really bad and uh, it's actually what happened to us because uh, initially we didn't have the cooler in the system for the testing and uh, this caused the, the sieve beds to trap water from the from the whole sea. So uh, this is the problem. What we have now, when we started testing the system, we could get to 90% uh, and more of the oxygen. And because we were running it for several hours without a cooler, the water got into the sieves. Or this is actually what I'm thinking that happened. Uh, because other than that, I don't see any problem here. And uh, now we cannot get over it differs but 35% uh, for these and 70% uh, for for this pair so uh, what I want to try now I want to take the uh, the bed from this oxygen concentrator and put it here and uh, test whether the rest if it works as in the normal machine then it means that the beds are problematic but if we can't reach the same concentration what we got in this machine that it means that there might be something else uh, problematic maybe the valves or timing or just something else just maybe the way how we cool the air and and other things so let's switch the beds I mark them all like the original one, like the original concentrator. Right, so it's on the place. And so let's turn it on. This will turn on the compressor. Right. And we need to turn on also the the fan. Right. So let's set it for five liters per minute first. Yes. So at five liters per minute, we are at around 60 to 60 percent. So definitely there is a 
reserve so there might be something different on our machine because uh, at the original concentrator we were getting over 70 percent so let's now decrease this to one liter per minute like this and let's wait for the maximum concentration it can get so with one liter per minute we got to 91.9 92% so it's confirmed the problem is in the seed bed so I will need to refill them with uh, some fresh zoolite material I try to regenerate them in oven at 250C and bake them for several hours to drive out the moisture but uh, it didn't help uh, the concentration stayed at the same level so maybe they are permanently damaged so anyway I will because I got them with used uh, filling I want to refill them with fresh material so uh, I'm going to order a new material for them it costs 22 dollars per kilogram so this means something like 50 dollars per one of these cylinders so we will see I'm waiting for a quote from the company and I will let you know once I get them so in the meantime I fixed this problem so let's put it back to the original condition So 72% at 3 liters per minute it was higher before but uh, let's hope that the machine is okay and will work well tomorrow. So the best time to go home today, I need to be earlier home because I have some other sophisticated thing to do.